Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys the part 25 of the top 10 seated weeks compatible with iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2. Polis, this tweak allows you to customize the control center toggles and also the quick launches. You can change their icons and you can also add more toggles and quick launches to the control center of your device. So you can do that by going to the settings of this tweak, you go to configuration and here you have the bottom shelf which are the quick launches and you have the top shelf which are the toggles. So if you want to add one you go here and then you can pick any of the toggles you have here apps or you go to toggles or you can create your own you go to custom and then you can also change their icons you just go to one of the toggles go to select icon and you can pick from any of these icons lucid cam bars this is a simple one for the camera app but it makes it look way cooler so what it does is that it will remove the top bar and the bottom bar from the camera app wi-fi strongest link this is a very useful tweak as it will connect your Wi-Fi to the strongest network so the networks that you have in range it will show you the percentages right here the strength of the link and it will connect you to the strongest one so if you scroll down here on the Wi-Fi menu of your iOS settings if you go here you can go you enable the tweak right here and also go to general setup and if you go here you can set the network threshold so when it goes below 60% it will connect you to a stronger network. At last this tweak will completely change the layout of the control center. Now normally you have the toggles at the top and the quick launches at the bottom of the control center but with this tweak installed you will have a way different layout so you have them sideways like this so on the left you have the toggles while on the right you will have the quick launches and here are also the media controls they look different as well so this layout doesn't look really good right here on the 5s but i bet it will look way better on bigger devices flat chat this is a tweak for the iMessages app and you can see how different it will look with this tweak installed so you don't need to configure anything you just install the tweak and you will have a kind of different look on the iMessages app so you can see here how the iMessages app looks by default and this is with this tweak installed so it will look way more different than the stock iMessages app chatter this tweak will customize the look of the banners on your ios 10 device so you can see here the header of the banner will have the color of the app's icons you can see here these are twitter banners and they have a blue color you can also add a dark tint to the banners and you can also customize them in different ways as well you can do that by going to the settings of this tweak so you can enable banner tint peak banner tint dark banners you can add run headless and also override noctics this is a feature which will work with Noctis and also you can enable the white threshold here and you can set it with the slider. Button banners. This tweak will reverse the way the banners show up on your device. Now normally you will see them right here but with this tweak installed you will see the banners down here. You can see the banner will come from underneath the screen of the device. So let's quickly jump to the settings of this tweak. What you have here is an enable button and then this slider where you can adjust the height of the banner. CC Plus, this tweak allows you to customize the look of the control center. So you can set a custom tint color, you can also change the blur radius and you can also go ahead and hide the elements of the control center so you can hide the airplay and the airdrop and also the night shift. So to do that you need to go to the settings of this tweak, enable it here, then here you can use the custom blur, set the custom tint color here and then here you can hide this stuff from the control center. Harp, this tweak will bring haptic feedback to the media controls of your device. So when you play pause a song or when you turn up or down the volume or when you scroll through a song you will have haptic feedback. The only downside to this tweak is that it only works on the 6S, 6S Plus and also on the iPhone 7s. Skinny hood. This tweak allows you to customize the look of the volume hood. So you can disable any of the UI elements of the volume hood. So you can see right here it won't show me the dots. I can completely disable the volume hood look here or if you enable this it will completely disable the volume hood. So you turn up or down the volume of your device and you won't see the volume hood at all. So you can see I turn up or down the volume and it won't show the volume hood at all. 
So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, for more videos like this please make sure to subscribe and also don't forget to follow me on my social media, you will find all the links in the description of this video.